everyone, it's Donna Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today I was listening to some of my old videos. I don't know if you've listened to some of my old videos. It was back when I was in the kitchen, and I was still working. And I, I um, had a video that I was finding very interesting, and it was about compliments. People don't give compliments anymore. And what it was, what I was listening to was when I was working, and I my eyebrows are getting very thin, so I kind of color them, them in a little bit. I was going through the day and I was saying hi to different people and smiling at different people and people are saying hi back to me. I happened to go into the bathroom and I looked in the mirror and I noticed I had half of an eyebrow. It's like nobody even told me. You know, it's funny because people won't tell you if you've got spinach in your teeth, they won't tell you nothing. They won't even give you a compliment if you look good. I was, I said in the video I could go with my hair crazy and nobody would say a word. They would have probably just said nothing or they would have said, I like your hair, <laughs> which probably is what they would have done, even though it looked really bad. And then I was, that brought me to thinking about what are things that we could do back in the 70s that you can't do now. And so I was Googling that, thank goodness for the computer, because that used to not be there. But back in the 70s, it wasn't there, but it is now. So I, I looked up a few things, and I remember riding in the airplane the first time I rode in the airplane. I told the, the stewardess that I, it was my first trip, and she gave me some wings. I don't know if they give wings out anymore still. I don't know. I don't I know. Never Jim got never any. got any when he went on his first flight, but you also didn't tell him it was your first flight, no. I don't think. You have to say, you have to speak up. Well, anyways, they used to give out free cigarettes if you were lucky. They used to give you a four pack of free cigarettes. I didn't smoke, so that didn't, I really didn't get any of those. But I did get a free drink and I got a free meal. Although I paid for it, I'm sure, with the price that I paid for my flight. Mm -hmm. But even now, you play for that flight, the same thing, you're paying more, and you maybe, maybe will get peanuts, maybe. You might get a glass of water, or you might get a pop, or you might get a coffee, you might get something. But you don't get, you don't get what we got years mm -hmm. ago. People were also, we used to go to newspaper stands, and it was on the honor system where you would take your paper, but the paper wasn't very much. It was maybe five cents to a quarter, depending on what paper you were getting. And you would put the money in, open the door, and you could have taken out five newspapers or as many as you wanted. But it was the honor system, and you took one. There used to be phone booths, so if you didn't have a phone, which I don't have a phone, you could go to well, a back phone. Then, phone it booth. wasn't a common thing to have a phone. No, people today carry their phones everywhere, but I'll get to that after I do the, the, this little bit. Gas was less than a dollar per gallon, but in, until 1977, then it went up. Credit cards were not used, they used to use cash. We always used cash. In fact, cash was the main thing. You only used a credit card or a debit card for real big purchases or something that you really, really didn't have enough cash on you to pay for. And in your applications, you were, you would write the sex that you were born. Now, my sister was telling me that they don't ask what is your sex anymore. They ask what was the sex you were, you were assigned given, at assigned at birth. So that if, if they are a them or they person that's not on the application. It's either boy, girl, or other, I guess. But now you have to mark what the doctor assigned you as. And help, I'm sorry if the doctor made a mistake, but that's the way you have to do it. See, and I never saw a color TV till I was in my 20s. I remember NBC, we went to the neighbor's house. Wilma had the color TV. And I remember the peacock. Oh, it was so pretty and bright. And we had never seen the Wizard of Oz in color until Jim and I got married. Then I saw the Wizard of Oz in color. Otherwise, the whole show was in black and white. Who knew that she landed in all those beautiful poppies and whatever, and the beautiful colors of the Emerald City? I didn't know. Let's see, there used to be no star on the phone screen. It used to be just a star on their shirt for a hero. And the hashtag pound sign, the pound sign used to be a pound sign, not a hashtag. 
texting and driving was no problem because <laughs> there were no phones that could text or drive. Text while driving. You didn't even have couldn't a phone. Couldn't text at all. Couldn't yeah, you text couldn't text at all, at all probably. Let's see, and things that are normal today, it's normal to carry your phone everywhere. For the most of you, you probably do carry your phones everywhere. And going outside with headsets on, a lot of times they have that little thing in their ear and they're talking away and you think they're talking to you. Nope, they're not. They're talking to whoever's in that little thing in their ear. Taking photos of food. People take pictures of food. I've done that. <laughs> yep. That was not a thing of long ago. You never took a picture of your food, but now it's a, it's a, it's a thing. You can take a picture of your food. A lot of people didn't own computers. We owned a computer in the 80s, and boy, it was expensive. We paid 3000 for a, for a tabletop computer. It wasn't even a laptop. Laptops were probably not even invented. Nope. I don't know. Laptops weren't in existence at that point. And you can have many tattoos, and if you had a tattoo, Years ago, you used to have to cover it up. Now you can get a job and have a regular kind of job with many tattoos on you. It used to be only the people that were in the military had tattoos. Then it got to be the people that were in the military and people that went to the fair had tattoos. Now, just about everybody has a tattoo, except I don't have a tattoo, and neither does no. Jim. Piercings, that's normal now, whereas before, the only piercing you had was maybe your ears but now people have their tongue, their lip, their eyebrow, and when I see it in, the, in their nose and their cheeks and they're all over the place, they can have ta and they have piercings. And some people have even had tattoos across their forehead as, as advertisement. They get paid to have it there. I would never want to do that. My Ooh. goodness. And what was cool to wear in the 70s? Leisure suits. And we used to have a program, a computer program called Leisure, leisure Larry. Suit Larry. Yeah, Leisure Suit Larry. It was it was pretty neat. And it was on the floppy disk. You don't can't even use a floppy disk in the computer. I threw a whole bunch of those away. And the little that was the four inch ones and I threw the little two inch ones, the little No, that was the the original ones. They started out originally at eight inch, but we never had those. No. We had the five and a quarter. Oh, okay. That was the paper. That was the ones. real flimsy ones. Yeah. And then they went to the three and a half uh, hard plastic. Hard plastic, and those you can't even use in a computer. A lot of computers don't even have hard drives in them anymore. They've or made them CD very. Drives. They've married. Or they've married. <laughs> they've made them very thin, and now you have to have a external drive to do any of that stuff. It's gotten crazy, but anyways, that was what I was thinking about. Oh, and I have something. Oh, I forgot to bring it in. I'll go get it. Yesterday, I had mentioned in my video, how many times did I wave at you? And I even put it in the title, and then I actually asked you at the very end of the video, how many times did I wave to you? And we had, oh, I forgot the paper. Oh, gosh, no. i got to go get the paper. Jim's going to go get the paper. Well, anyways, I had asked a question in the title, and I had asked a question in the video. And what it was is I wanted to know how many times I wa you waved at me because I wanted to do a drawing. But I didn't, I don't know I'm going to do this until after, until after I've made the video. It came to me and I thought, well, this is a good time to do another drawing. Because you never know. Jim had mentioned at one time that you never know when we're going to do it because I don't announce it. You got the paper? Thank you. There's the paper. I, got, I had 18 names and you have a number by your name. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use the random picker since Jim showed me how. All right, let me push on there. There's the random picker. And we're going to pick a number or pick a person with a number by their name. You want to push the button because I can't see it. Push. Oops. I don't know. Uh, who does it come up to? Number 17. 
Number 17. Who's number 17? Number 17 is Mommy and Kimberly's Adventure. Congratulations. You won a $25 gift card from Amazon. We're going to do another one. So let's do one more. Touchscreen didn't like my finger. Apparently not. Who's it going to be this time? Uh, number 10. Number 10 is Simply Jan. Congratulations, Jan. You too won a $25 gift card from Amazon. Now, what you have got to do is I'm going to give you till Wednesday, which is the 13th, 13th. I believe. Yes. Yeah, my car is supposed to get inspected on the 13th. What I want you to do is go back into this video and, well, actually, send me an email. Mm -hmm. I will give you a word. Then you're to go back into this video and type the word in a comment. You can add it to the comment that you already did if you want, or you can make a new comment. I will see it. But this way, you, I know that is definitely you. And then... I'll have your email also, so I can send the card. So I can send the card to you because it will go through the emails. How you get it? Um, I don't know. I remember how you did it. Oh, but, Jim does yeah. it. I don't know how to do these things, but That's he's going to do it. He'll do it for you. So anyway, so the winners were Mommy and Kimberly Adventures, and Simply Jan. I better circle those so I remember. Seventeen and number ten. Yep. And as you can see, I don't know if you can read it or not. Can you read it, I wonder? Mm -hmm. I don't know. There's all the names that entered. I guess you can see them all. And I put names of the people by it. If oh, It's Karina. It would be the Mommies and Me Adventures. That's who it is. There you go. And those are your numbers. And congratulations to those that won. And that's it for today. Now I'm going to wave goodbye. So I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.